Brady claims he was never going to play for another team besides the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Welcome back everyone, it's your boy CJR Sports and today we'll be talking about Tom Brady and what he said during his press conference about only playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Let's get right into this video. So Tom Brady unexpectedly opt to meet with the reporters. He opted in to meet the reporters. I, that's something I kind of want to put out there first. When he only played 11 snaps against the new, in, new the Indianapolis Colts um, was a field goal drive. During his you know brief remarks, he addressed one of the various elephants in the room. And this had to go with uh, all the things that happened kind of with the Dolphins and then with the Raiders. So he kind of just wanted to put something out there immediately. I read all these different types of stories about these different places I was supposed to go or could have gone, Brady said. I was only to go into one place. That was here. I think this whole organization knows that. But Face the facts, the NFL found them. Over four different calendar years, the Dolphins talked to him at a prohibited time that was written in the rules. They have talked to him about playing for the Dolphins. They have talked to him about becoming a owner of the Dolphins. They have talked to him about becoming an executive with the Dolphins. And when he announced his retirement on February 1st, that was the same day that Brian Flores' lawsuit killed the plan that was supposed to be the done deal. You know, during Super Bowl week, Brady became a uh, a partner. Well, during Super Bowl week, becomes a, uh, a partner in the Dolphins. No longer that, the Dolphins uh, acquire the rights to the coach of Sean Payton from the Saints, and then eventually the Dolphins would acquire their rights to have Brady as a player. That was supposed to get, that was going to be filed that day after when Brian Flores filed for a lawsuit. All the conversations that we have had over the period, I chose the right place for me. And I'm very proud of the effort that everyone's putting in to make that relationship work. He's t- uh, and this was towards Joel Glazer and Jason Light, Brian, uh, Bruce Arians, and Todd Bowles. At some point in 2019, 2020, 2021, or 2022, the Dolphins have gotten the message. If the message was something along the lines of, you're wasting everyone's time. Instead, Tom Brady's good friend, Bruce Beald, one of the Dolphins chairmen, trying because Brady's buddy, Beal, knew that there was a good reason to try. So that's kind of like the Dolphin situation. And now we have the Raiders situation. When kind of the you uh, the UFC president, Dana White, explained a week ago, the Raiders nearly had Brady under contract in 2020 until former Vegas coach John Gruden put a stop on the move. Brady, who... White was looking for houses. Dana White said Tom Brady was looking for houses in the area. It was ready to join the Raiders and not the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. In fairness to Brady, who else could have said this? Yeah, I wanted to play for the Raiders two years ago, but Gruden didn't let me. Sure, I was playing to play for the Dolphins this season, but Brian's, uh, uh, Flores filed the lawsuit. That was what? He's tr- he's saying that he needs to say, doing what he needs to do in order to move on, in order to get most of it out, what likely will be his final NFL season, he needs to slam the door on any talks. Deep down, he wanted 2022 to play out very differently than playing for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And getting right into the booth, where he'll be making $375 million over 10 years. Let me know down in the comments 
about this entire thing with Tom Brady because his name has been in the news too much recently, and I don't think it's good for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That is a personal opinion of mine. Let me know what you guys think about this whole Raiders and Dolphins news incorporating or trying to acquire Tom Brady over the last couple of years. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to this channel. We're almost at 200 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. It's your boy, CJR Sports, and I'm out. Peace, guys.